What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be learning how to transfer game saves for the original DS games and if you are using a new 3DS or 3DS XL or any one of those models all these methods would work the same way. So we're going to go into Twilight Loader here on our DS. It's going to take a minute to boot. And there you go. So I'm going to show you guys here a game <clears throat> that does not have any saves, any saves and is totally blank and is a new game. So we're going to boot in here into Super Mario 64 DS and let it load for a minute. So if I click on adventure you'll see here that A, B, and C, all our files are new. That means there's there's no saves, there's no stars, there's nothing in it. So to begin, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our DIA so that we can take out our SD card and plug it into our computer. Right here we get easy access to the SD card. Plug it in and turn me on. Alright, so the one place I do recommend getting game saves would be game facts, game FAQs. And this is a site where I think I have gotten most of my game saves from. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to type in a name of a game up here in the search bar like I am, find the game, and download the game saves you are looking for. Whether you are looking for a complete game, a partially completed game, all sections of one side of the game done, or anything else, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it on here. So here you can see that I selected 64 DS. If you see here on the tabs, you'll see, if you see here on the tabs, you'll see that there's one for saves. Now it's gonna be a couple of options for you right here. What I do recommend downloading, which would be the easiest to work with, would be the .duc files which come from an action replay max for the DS. And in this section in particular, you'll see that there are two. There is one with 155 stars, which would be the one that I'm getting. And I'm gonna easily place in my downloads folder. It's only a couple of kilobytes big, so it'll be extremely fast. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my save data converter here. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a file first of all, the file that we're going to base our thing on. Browse the file I just downloaded. And source format is going to be whatever the original source file is. In this case, remember, we just downloaded a DUC file. The target format though is going to be a .sav file, which I think you can just leave as a default option selected. We're going to go ahead and click convert and it's going to be done and ask us where we want to save our file. I'm just going to retitle it to Super Mario 64 DS complete and download that into my downloads folder. And now what we do is we open up our downloads folder, see that our converted complete safe file is 
in our folder and we're going to go ahead and copy it to our dssd card which would be on the sd card the roms folder that we installed in another video and ds for ds roms and then the saves folder the saves folder is where all your saves are going to be at so if you want to change any other save for any other game this would be the folder to put it in and i'm going to go ahead and paste our save file right here and you'll see that i have another save file that is from the game i literally just opened a moment ago and we're going to delete that save file to replace it with the one we just converted and downloaded now keep in mind that your save file needs to have the exact same name as the ds-rom file if it doesn't the ds would not be able to see it and it would not load up the save state or the save or the save file so make sure that both are equally named so they can match up and load up when you load the file and once we're done we're going to go ahead and eject our sd card and, and put it back into our ds console and we're going to load up our ds here waiting for it to turn on in just a minute We see Twilight Loader. Right here, just go back to our last game played and loading up nds bootstrap here we see it loaded the game click on adventure and then you'll see right here that all the files have been filled up file a and file c have, are basically complete with 155 stars and i'll just go into here a little bit play as Luigi to show you guys how it would load <coughs> right here you can see that the cannon is open and that we can freely jump in and blast to the top of the castle And that's pretty much it guys this will work for most if not all ds game save files that you're trying to transfer over if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below give a like if you like it and there's that other button if you didn't subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys at the next one this is Nemo signing out. Have a good one.